What's up, YouTube? Uh, Reefing with Ryan here, back again, um, finally. I know it's been forever since I've done an update. Um, I haven't posted anything, and uh, I kind of wanted to talk through uh, what happened and what's going on there. So, um, back whenever I posted my last video, I had actually gone to a big frag swap, um, got a ton of footage, actually really good footage. Um, it was an awesome show, and I also spent a ton of money. So. Uh, prices were great on corals, and I still spent almost $400. Um, came back through that in my two tanks, and then left for a vacation. Had a huge calcium swing because I was not dosing enough to keep up, um, and kind of just lost everything, and uh, it made me get out of it for a little bit. So I kind of just put everything on pause, didn't sell anything, but uh, kept it around. And um, I'm getting back into it again. So I've had a reef tank set up for a uh, few months now. I think the uh, tank behind me has been set up for at least three. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of what I got going on. And I got a few cool things to uh, show you about what's gonna be coming to the channel. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be back for good this time and I uh, won't have any more issues I mean, we learn from our mistakes. So it's kind of what I'm gonna take this. So uh, before I show you this tank, I know you can kind of see it behind me. I'm gonna show you what I've been working on and give you guys a sneak peek as to um, what's gonna happen on the channel. Okay, so I know this isn't super exciting. Uh, this is the stand that my 100 gallon uh, acrylic aquarium used to sit on. Uh, there's nothing there now because I'm buffing all the scratches out of that acrylic uh, tank. Um, that tank is going to be um, my new reef tank. And I'm very excited I've never done anything this large. Um, I just finished painting the stand and the canopy. Um, and this will be the first time I've really plumbed my own system. I've plumbed systems for other people in stores whenever I've worked at pet stores uh, before, um, but I've never done my own system, so it's really cool to be able to build all this myself. I um, have picked up a few things. So you see here, I got two Ocean Revive LEDs. Um, here, one of them pretty much is brand new and one was used from a guy that um, I actually found that sells coral. Um, out of his basement and does online auctions and uh, he gave me really good deals on those. I did get me my overflow for the tank once I get done uh, polishing it up. I'm gonna plumb it and uh, I got my DC pump so I'm very excited for this build and I hope you guys are too and um, stick around and uh, see. I'm gonna try to document everything step by step except for a few things like uh, polishing the tank. This is my first time and I'm not the guy to learn from um, there's plenty of good videos out there on how to do it, but it's going to be very exciting. So, um, without further ado, let me show you the new tank. And, uh, I did pick up some corals whenever I got this, uh, these lights from that guy. So, uh, actually my dream coral. So let's check them out. All right, guys, you might remember this tank. Um, this is my Fluval Evo 13.5. Um, this tank, I, uh, Pretty much had lost everything and uh, tore it down. But I set it back up about uh, three or four months ago and everything's been going good. I've done a lot of updating to it um, and dosing manually, which isn't gonna be sustainable for long once I start going on business trips and stuff again. Um, but for now, it's working. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, and I actually, everything's doing really good. I just had my first sign of uh, cyano pop up this week. Um, it was the first time I've really had any algae problems in this tank but without further ado let me uh, show you what's going on so we're running the uh, Fluval Evo and all I have in here is lots of um, marine uh, biospheres uh, some filter floss and my auto tap off so that's all I'm running I skipped the skimmer um, lighting wise I'm running the Aquanite LED uh, this is one I snagged off eBay for about uh, 60 bucks um, it's been working great and uh, much better than the stock LED, and uh, like that it's controllable. So in here, a um, little mix of everything. So tank inhabitants are just a couple of clownfish, and um, there's a little green striped clown goby in here somewhere, hiding out like always. But uh, yeah, so I'm super excited. I actually got this green bleeding heart um, scully today, uh, or just a couple days ago whenever I picked up those Ocean Alive LED. LEDs. Um, the guy, I had no idea he even sold corals. I just seen him selling a couple lights. And uh, turns out he's known as the Scully guy um, with all in auctions. So 
He, uh, I picked this up. He's been in here for about two days and he's really doing good. The only thing in my tank that's not doing good is there is a Devil's Hands uh, finger leather that's not doing well. And then these uh, Recordias, I think, got too much light and I moved them over here. Um, they got kind of bleached out and are losing their color, but they're, they're bouncing back. So, um, got a little plate coral here. And I'm uh, dealing with cyano right now, but it's the first pop up and it is kind of a new tank. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not really too mad about it and we'll get it straightened out. Um, Zoe's got some musicians back there, some other chaos, uh, some orange bam bams and rastas and uh, purple people eaters. Big fat healthy A can. I got that from the guy who I bought the lights from as well, along with this A can right here. There's a couple different blastos back there, some more A cans. So Sunset Montes not doing, uh, the, or the Mystic Sunset Montes not doing the best. He lost some of his color. Um, I did have him up higher, and he um, got kind of bleached out, so I moved him down. This uh, purple uh, frog spawn I got from him as well. Uh, it's really kind of like a light, almost pink uh, color, and uh, definitely different. And I got it for a really good price, and it's got about four or five heads on there. It's a nice hammer. Uh, trying a little bit of SPS in here as well. So you see, I got a um, green slimer and uh, a little acro up there that I picked up. In the back, there is a piece of a chili pepper monty. Um, it's actually doing pretty well. This uh, couple of trumpet corals and that leather's doing really good and some Duncans. But yeah, I mean, that's the uh, the Evo so far. Everything's been doing really well. I'm just running it really simple. I uh, changed out the, the return pump for a Gralia um, little nano pump that does a little more gallons per hour and then put a uh, one of the Jabo, uh, the WP-10 in there. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just been rocking and rolling for the past few months. I've just been dosing with the uh, Polyp Lab 1. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything's doing really good. So pretty excited um, about this tank and very excited about the, the new adventure to come with the 100 gallons. So that'll be the biggest reef tank I've ever owned personally and uh, definitely going to be a lot of fun. So I have a lot of the equipment. I just need a few more things, but other than that, we're, uh, we're moving right along on it. So I expect to see more videos up from me, guys, and uh, I'm out.